co-host. Interesting. Interesting. Hey, let me know, folks. This is a different... It's not the phone setup, so, you know. I mean, I guess I guess I could do the monitor in my ear. Can I? Uh, 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 uh. Audio offset. What the hell? Hmm. I can't. Oh, maybe it's because I'm muted. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There we go. I think now I should hear. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, let me know, folks, if you can hear, if the audio is decent, if the audio is good. Because what we have here is this here. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. I never know. TikTok, they they changed the, the settings again. But look what we have. Finally, we have us some IDW Shredder. Isn't that cool? I think it's cool. This is the regular version. There's a couple different versions. Um, two different versions, which is a couple. So a couple is literally two. There's this one. There's the Shredder in Hell version, which I think is actually, by the looks of it, probably my favorite. I got this one from Amazon. Amazon sent it over. I do. I collect. Yeah, a lot. Um, kind of a... You could describe me as an out-of-control collector. It's really bugging me. Usually I can hear... You can, like, hear yourself. You know? I should probably keep that. Headphone audio? Is that... Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well. Audio monitoring. Weird. Weird. Anyways. So, you're an out-of-control Hot Wheels collector? Yeah, it goes, you know, it, it rapidly goes from, like, just one to, before you know it, you have, you know dozens hundreds i assume with hot wheels it's even harder because you can get so many more i got it for it was like 18 something maybe 19 amazon usually has pretty good prices usually they come down so let's let's get into it this shredder is highly sought after by me it's a thinner i can show you like so they have these kind of new style boxes right it's it's much thinner than the turtles which is cool that that they size the boxes for the figures right and you'll see the turtles so but i thought it was just interesting that they do the box size that way so i don't think we'll need the nippers after that it does have, I don't know if you can read it, like the nice, kind of like a bio, not really a bio, I guess. There's a bio card that'll come with it. How's everybody doing tonight? The articulation on these, um, as you'll see, pretty good, I, I feel like. The box. One thing that's kind of cool about the boxes, you get this kind of like backdrop, which is kind of neat, right? And then there's there's our boy Shredder here, and he does come. They usually come with like a collector card. This one does have, this is where you get like the bio. Nice little bio card. The Mateus Santaluco art. The cunning and ruthless leader of the Foot Clan, Shredder is a martial skill is a skilled martial artist and strategist. He is feared and respected by his allies and enemies alike, and his ultimate goal is to conquer and rule New York City with an iron fist. Um, I generally open everything. Um, Especially these days, especially stuff that can be opened without damaging the figure. 
I open it. So you get the best action sticker going on. Right? I've never used the best action sticker for anything. No ties. The figure comes right out. Ooh, that's a nice... A nice feel to this boy. Like, the cape is just the plastic or rubber or whatever, but it's very, like, pliable, as you can see. I mean, obviously, you're not going to pose the cape at all. But, good lord, I like it. See how he stands. Oh. Maybe a little top-heavy. Let me... So you can get the full shredder view. And let me just... Let's get the accessories now. Again, because they're so easy to get out. You get, you're getting an extra head sculpt. That doesn't work. Hold on. I need, I need both hands to focus, right? I believe the Shredder in Hell comic version. Can we have a size comparison to a Marvel Legend? Unfortunately, I... Well, I don't have Marvel Legends. But I do have... How do you display them? Um, generally, like, uh, shelves and stuff. You'll kind of see... I can show you in a bit. Um, or if you look. So you can see kind of a little of that. A little of this. Kind of... Kind of all over the place. But yeah, so this this would be effectively a Marvel Legends. Because this is like the D&D &D Marvel, right? So I believe it's the same size. So it's it's what? It's about six inches, I think. So I think it's... I think so. This is Jank from Dungeons & Dragons. Zank. Jank, not Jank. So yeah. So in terms of accessories, you get the sword here. That nice, pretty cool sword. Not like crazy. You get the head sculpt. He has like the the eye thing going on. Yeah, it's a pretty good size. He has two of these. Whatever these are, they're like almost like the wickedest putters you could ever have. Um, he has. Like a bunch of claw hands, and he has kind of... The claws are very bendy. Maybe too bendy? Crazy possum in the house. What up? Yeah, I'm doing a surprise kind of nighttime life. Leslie with the hearts joining. Right on. Um. Well, I guess he has two claw kind of hands. This is another claw-ish hand. But with like slightly different finger action. And yeah, ask as many questions as you like, folks. I don't I don't mind. And then this one's like another kind of like a pointy claw hand. And then kind of like a grabby kung fu kind of hand. So uh and then Shredder himself. Look at this. Obviously just right out of the pages of IDW. I mean, come on. Really stellar sculpt work. The articulation, folks are asking. It's basically Marvel Legends articulation. Um, So you got the shoulder thing. The pauldrons, they kind of allowed for it to go up. And you're doing the full Townsend. It's rotating just fine. Can you do a size comparison? The bicep cut, we can do a size comparison. We got the double... The double jointed elbows, so you're getting, you know, if you wanted to pick his nose with it. And then he has like the fists, the gauntlets, ab crunch. Interestingly, there is like a, a cut there, but it doesn't. It doesn't really do anything. Like you can't, you can kind of twist it a little bit, but it, it's a weird cut. So like, virtually no ab crunch. You can hear the clicking in the waist. Some kind of the waist swivel. Kind of the splits. Um, kicking forward. 
can't really kick back. He's got that, that shredder butt going on. And then... Double jointed knees. So you're doing a little of that. And then ankle. Kind of standard ankliness. So there's there's him. There's our man. Our boy. He's kind of a weird stance now. It, it does feel a lot like a Marvel legend to me, actually. Good lord. Yeah, I don't... I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I feel like human figures... I just feel like they never stand great. So... get him rotating uh let's do the tallest turtle tallest turtle first we're gonna do donnie so he is taller than donnie kinda i mean donnie's a big boy. Shredder's leaning. Like I can't even believe. Yeah, and like no no peg. There, there's no peg. So yeah, so here's Donnie. I thought I thought that was a cool pose with Donnie with like the bow. Oh gosh. Let's get the bow normal style. Maybe that's a that's a more fair look. Is he one twelfth scale? Uh, I would say probably not. I mean, one twelfth scale. I'm I'm trying to think. What do I have that's like one twelfth scale? I don't know. I have a lot of like weird lines. Um. But I guess if you view like the Marvel Legends y stuff as one twelfth scale, maybe. Let's do like a jank. Oh gosh. I keep calling him jank. It's zank. I don't know what. I don't know what's wrong with me. So there's like a comparison to, to roughly like Marvel Legends. As they all as they all fall. So there is that. So there's a Donnie. So you can kind of see. Super Seven's pretty big. That's Super Seven Donnie. So he's a big shredder. Um Probably six inches, I would imagine. Did I drop his sword? Oh, I dropped the head sculpt and the sword. Okay. So there's that. So he's a good size shredder. I was worried. Best action. They do tend... What line is that, Donnie? This is also best action, Donnie. This is Super 7, Donnie. Like so... In Raph's, like, undercover Raph's coat. So, let's pop off the head. So, if you wanted to, you can, like, remove the cape. I, I think it's a good cape. You can go capeless. Oh, God. It feels like a giant. Are they cheaper than NECA? These ones, yeah. These ones are about, give or take, depending where you bought them. I think they're like, I think 18 something. So let's say 19. I think the true manufacturer price is something like 21. But I, I see them for like the 18 all the time. Let's do that. Maybe I should bring you in closer. I feel like you're. 
You're so far away. Um, let's do, let's do his sword. Well, he already has the grippy hands in, so I guess that's it. Oh, look, yeah, he's a pretty, I need to raise you higher. He's a fierce dude. But yeah, there. It's a very affordable line, I find. Like he just he looks super. Like yeah, straight. I don't know if y'all y'all fans of the IDW comics. He has like this. I don't know. I don't know what this is. It's like a. It's like a crazy hockey club. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's. I think that's super rad. I guess you could have him kind of facing off with Donnie. I just watched Mutant Mayhem again last night, or kind of today, I guess. But they're pretty good. Again, this stand is fucking wobbly as fuck. Like pretty. Pretty great comparison with the turtles. So there's Donnie. Let's I drop him. There's Leo. Like Leo could be doing a little bit of sword fighting. I don't know. I think it's a super fun line, especially since this is the first time, you know, we're getting these IDW designs. So that's pretty magical just in its own right. And I think, I don't know, I think the, the design on this guy is super great. Highly recommend them. I would definitely get them. The Shredder in Hell one comes with the first issue of Shredder in Hell. And it has some, like, effects. It has some, like, kind of, like, magic type effects um, you'd be able to get. So. Put that. Kind of see. You get a fair number of accessories, especially for, for 18 bucks. I don't know, because if you look at, like, an average Marvel Legends these days, they're what? Uh, at least, like, $30, if not more, you know? So, for, like, 18 for these? Let's, should we bring all the turtles in? If we can, if we can fit them all on here. What's up, Tricks Art? How's it going? It's been a while. I think I think we could fit all the turtles in there. Let me get my raft. Raft here. I think it'll fit. I think I think we can do it. I'm doing good. I just got, I unexpectedly got this shredder. And so I was like, you know what? I gotta go. I think I want the cape. Should DC fire James Gunn? Why do you think James Gunn is very bad? The Guardians of the Galaxy movies were pretty dang good. And his, like the DC movies he did were super good. So I don't, I don't think they'd, um even come close to firing him really i think that would, especially at this point i mean they they just hired him to do the movies so they're they're not even close to to firing him because he's the reason we won't be seeing henry cavill return as superman i mean yeah I, i'm a big fan of like of henry cavill as superman to be sure um but i get it i mean if you're doing like a new if you're trying to like start over, do something fresh, 
you can't just like carry on the same characters. I mean, you could, but you know, if they wanted to go like a different direction and Henry Cavill probably wants to do other things or whatever. So I don't know. But yeah, it, it, I mean, it is what it is. They had their chance with Henry Cavill for for good or bad. But yeah, the sh the size on the shredder is awesome. He's taller than all the turtles, which is great. Cuz before in their lines before best action, the scale has been totally off, but they've 100% fixed it with these IDW turtles. So this is a fantastic line. Here's a little more of like the the helmeted shredder sculpt. Can it focus? He's got like the white out eyes. super cool so i think this is a stellar line for 18 bucks let me check i can check exactly how much i got this one for yeah it's super cool this is probably the most affordable turtles line um best action has improved a whole ton currently on amazon 21.99 21.99 for the shredder um i think it's the turtles yeah well i guess they're all 21.99 so 21.99 i think they've been cheaper maybe um thank you for the likes but yeah for 22 bucks these are pretty solid generally you're not getting this on any other line NECA's like you know 36 uh super 7 you know, they're like well into the 50s or 60s unless you're getting it on a deal. So, you know, um, I would definitely recommend. I heard rumors that the Turtles will be will be in Fortnite. I mean, everybody was thinking that, especially with like the movie, but it didn't it didn't really happen or materialize. But, you know, maybe they're just slow walking it. Yeah, this is a great shredder. The cape, even. Again, the cape. I know it's not a cloth goods cape, but it's a very pliable rubber. Do you like IDW Mikey with that skin color? I do. Um, the wash, I have the wash version. If you get the normal version, the Don STC version, it'll be a lighter. The wash definitely drives it darker. But I like the different colored turtles. Obviously, Mikey's much more extreme and sticks out. But I, I like... I like when the turtles are different colors. I have I have fun with that. Generally. Should we try some? I do have like a, I have a flight stand. For that I've been using Luffy on. Oh no, I just pulled it apart. What do you feel? Do you like the, do you prefer, like, if the turtles are the same color? I know it's it's kind of controversial depending on who you ask. Oh, shoot. Oh, I also realize Raph's bandana hasn't been on the whole time. I haven't been paying attention. One thing about these ones, the bandanas come off, like, super easy, which is quite a pain. I would say. I don't know if this stand is beefy enough for Shredder. Maybe not. Probably not. This is like the the SH Figure Arts stand, and it, it works for like Luffy in them, but I think Shredder's too beefy, perhaps. Well, no. Let's see if we remove the turtles. Yep, Mikey was Mikey was leaning on rafts. You can see. <laughs> Not like a great shredder pose, but pretty fun. Right? I don't know. I'm not the world's best like poser. But you can see some of the dynamic action. I mean, I do find the best action articulation is pretty good. 
It is pretty stellar. I don't know, like, what's a big... I'm trying to think of, like, a good kick pose, but... Yeah, IDW, yeah, this is this is uh, straight out of the comics with the IDW comics. Have you read much of IDW? This is their shredder design. You get the cool head sculpt. It has, like, the scar. Really good, like, detail on the fabric that it picks up. Just all around, pretty stellar. Pretty sweet. Um... He, they, IDW did really cool things with Shredder. Not to, not to give any spoilers, but yeah, he, um, he really went places. What did I just drop now? Mm. Wow. I guess that's that's kind of like a a pose. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. So yeah, I don't know. One of the best shredder designs, folks. I I truly think this shredder, one of the best, one of the most menacing. Ooh, does <laughs> this is like, this stand like barely holds the weight. I guess I should take off the rotation display. I mean, come on. Come on. What's not to love? Yeah, kind of medieval knight. Yeah, like he definitely like this is a more like serious shredder. The IDW is pretty serious, not not very much like. I mean, there's there's comedic moments and stuff. You know, but IDW generally they went the serious route. So you kind of have like the two of them kicking together, right? But no, super sweet, I think. Maybe I could do a pose. Ooh, yeah, that's that is something. That is something, folks. Like, look. Ooh. Ooh, like a battle, kind of like a Ninja Gaiden-esque thing going on. I I'm a huge fan of the Shredder. Honestly. For figures, um, for me, if a figure's under $30, it's really hard to be like Matt. These are all the loyal subjects. So, where I had the sticker, the best action, they're called best action loyal subjects. For all of these. So here's the box for Leonardo. Loyal subjects. They're at Walmart at this point. Target. Amazon. So. They've been showing up for people. In um, Target. And Walmart. They're really great. I highly recommend them. Again. For 21 bucks. I mean 21 bucks. It's about as good as it gets. So here's like. Ooh. I guess I guess we could build like a whole turtle scene, right? I have to move this up more. The other turtles are kind of, The other turtles are there. They're definitely there. They're present. They're in the room where it happens. 
<laughs> Super fun. <laughs> I just like, ooh. Hold on. Look at Mikey. Mikey's having a good old time. Nah, he's just, you know, that's like breaking the fourth wall. But, good lord. I think that's, yeah, that's a cool scene. Shredder versus the Turts. Super pleased with this. I'm super excited for the Shredder in Hell version. Because the Shredder in Hell version um, has more of the golden armor. Ooh, I guess you can kind of... You can kind of use the cape to help you stand some. You know? You want to get Toka and Razor in the future? Yeah, they do have that. They have, um... Yeah, like the... Because they also do... It's interesting, um... They kind of... The Loyal Subjects kind of gets into everything. Where they do... You know, they're, mo mainly comics is what is what they're doing these days. Oh, God. Just fell right out of my hands. Um, but they do, they do some Toon Line stuff. I was going to say some, like, movie stuff, but no, not really. That's not accurate. Um, but their, their token rays are super cool. They do, like, a, some, like, they have, like, arcade lines. Basically what it is. But you can see, yeah, they, they sized this line really good. So 100% recommend it. That's the, this is the Loyal Subjects family. Super fantastic. Shredder. Just super good. All like the detail. Not a ton of paint. This is mostly all just like cast in the plastic. But they did, they chose their colors very well. And, you know. I love it. I love it. Heartily recommend. Just a super great line. The most affordable, coolest line for sure. Leo's not in there enough. Where's Don Bingo? Uh oh. It's dropping everything. Again, I don't know. I don't know what those are. But they're cool. They're super cool. I guess the I guess the turtles should all be like fighting out. Mikey, the only one, probably my the only just a true disappointment I have in the line is this this winking Mikey head is really cool. But it's very, it's very limiting. <laughs> it's a winking. If you don't want him winking, it's like the angry, angry Mikey head. But not bad. Not bad. I don't know why, I don't know why I'm trying to take it off. I don't have the actual, the head ready to go. But yeah, like this Mikey. 
You can see he's just, he's not afraid of Shredder at all. Super cool. Mm. Like so. Ta-da! Trying to think what other... I, I, I've definitely dropped a grabby hand at some point. I think. Or no, I guess he only has the six hands. Thank you, Leonardo. Thank you so much. It's been it's been a wild time, especially for toys. The other thing I got, I can show you that got delivered along with Shredder. I got the last Ronin Lost Years hardcover, which is quite nice. No peace. He's um he's having a bad time in the Lost Years. As you can see. Is it good? I really like the Lost Years. Uh the Lost Years basically came out this year. The yeah, actually, so they the hardcover came really quick. This is all, everything you see before you came out this year. The funnest part of Lost Years, I'll show you. Um, is you get the baby turtles. You know, you get you get you get some of these folks. Odin, E, Uno, you got Moja. Super fun. If you haven't read it, definitely check it out because there's a whole new generation of turtles. This story is both like it's a prequel to the last Ronin, um, and it's a sequel because it takes place. You know, both. Pretty dark. It's definitely darker than The Last Ronin. People say The Last Ronin is dark, but I think this is actually like a far uh, darker story because you see, you see truly what like Mikey went through and all that and all that kind of jazz, you know? So totally recommend it, but it's dark. It'll, it'll give you a case of the sads. For sure. I do... I mean, I guess you can't not have, like, a gauntleted shredder. But it would be kind of nice if there was, like, a regular one. Put another toy shredder next to the other one. Um... What other... I'll show you... Let me get... Do this without fucking it up. All right. Should have done. I should have done the desk. You know, I chose the stool. I like the stool live. So here is Super Seven Shredder. He's pretty menacing. Should I do a little? So, and then here, here is best action shredder. So super seven shredder is quite tall. I think he's seven inches. Best action is six i think he's six but you can kind of you can kind of see definitely definitely bigger and bulkier 
and you know best action shredder pairs really well with the the best action turtles naturally <laughs> can you check out your page not while i'm on live but you know you're more than welcome to tag me or um like send the video to me i can't remember what my like message settings are but yeah like tag me in stuff and i'll definitely check it out but yeah so that's that's generally like the size comparison so I think they sized this line very good together. Because um, you want, in my mind, you want shorty turtles. You want your turtles to be short, shorter than the humans. So like Raph, and I do like, one of my other favorite things about the the best action line in general is the turtles are different heights. So, you know, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. They're not such great standards. They don't have enough. They don't have quite enough ankle movement. The turtles. Shredder does. So that's just like. The difficulty posing. But I think. I mean, this is... There's some variants, right? There's, like, different colored ones or whatever. But so far, this is the IDW family. Do you have any 2012 turtles? I do have a ton of 2012 turtles. Um, you can see I have, like, a whole... I have... Most of my 2012 turtles are, like, carded. So that's like a lot of my collection in there. Maybe one day I would get them out. Probably not. I should get like the reissue turtles. Fix Leo's hands. <laughs> um, you're talking where they do like he has like the grip where he has like his thumb through the middle of it. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with him. He has different hands like they give you multiple sets of hands. So... He has multiple gripping hands even. So I don't think they necessarily need to like fix anything. Because um, it, it works just fine. So you can just not use that pair of hands if you like. Like the, the hands I have in now are just normal. Normal grippy hands. So I mean technically they, they already did like fix it. So if you want to look, here's Leonardo. I think, again, this this is the one with the wash. The normal one that you buy won't have the wash. So they'll be light, lighter, lighter. Um, yeah, Leo is looking great. There's the Donnie. I, I greatly prefer the wash myself. Because I think it brings out, especially the details on the Plastron. They did the metal shell, which if you're caught up on the IDW comics, Donnie ends up with a metal shell that he has to do. They got Raph. Raph, probably my favorite in of the Turtles because he's the, he's the beefiest and mechanically works the best. Do you have 1984 Turtles too? I would never open them. Um, I have some 90s Turtles. I, I, I have a bunch that I had since I was a kid. And so they're all opened and like mangled. And Raph does have a bandana. I was just, it's over on the shelf. I didn't realize it fell out. But yeah, Raph, he's like a big chonker. And then Mikey. Mikey is probably the most different because he's more of that like dark blue. But again, just the idea, I think these die designs, based on the IDW art, Mateus Santaluco, stellar, stellar stuff. And then today's new edition, 
Orokusaki himself, the Shredder. Which again, if you want a comparison, I don't have Marvel Legends, but generally best action function a lot like Marvel Legends, except you don't really get ab crunch. So there's like, there's like torso kind of swivel, but it doesn't really do anything with it. Um, yeah, very, this is a great shredder, I think. twenty one ninety nine, so 22 bucks. That's like the folds. I don't know if you can see. Like there's like a texture on the cape. I don't know. It, it's very nice. Very nice. Is the head hard to get off? I mean, so here you'll see. I think you'll be able to hear it. Uh, Not bad. Here's what I usually find. Like the default head, because it's had a lot of time. You can see like best action kind of just has like a big old, big old ball peg. So usually the one that ships with it usually comes on fine. And so like the alternate head, so here, you know, Orokusaki, he's having a terrible time. This one, you can see it's just like, it's already very, very tight. Um, what I do, you kind of do like a swivel. So it's not bad. I mean, you saw that it, it, it. I wouldn't say it's easy, but I don't know. Like if you, how much money did it cost to get all the figures you have in your room? A lot. I mean, I mean, certainly we're cracking into a thousand or more, depending what you factor into. I would, I would say, but yeah. Oh, <laughs> the head, the head is a little hard to get on just because again, that big, it's a big, it's a big ball, ball peg. And so, but you just kind of, what I do, you kind of do like, as you're applying pressure, you twist it. Like you, you, you do like a twist. Like, so as you're like pushing, you're kind of like corkscrewing it. But yeah, I, I know what you mean. Um, it's just, it's an interesting joint. Certainly not a lot of folks use that one. They use like a smaller one. But I don't know, I kind of prefer that, like a thicker one versus one that could break or something. Perhaps, you know. Anybody know what these are called? They really, to me, they look like, like really heavy metal <laughs> putters. But clearly, I'm crazy. But there's some even nice. I don't know if you can tell, because it's like black. But there's kind of like a, it's like a, a wood grain to it. Yeah, I think this line is stellar. Um, a lot of people don't like it, but really, we're talking about a line. That's twenty dollars, roughly twenty-two, I think, for these ones. Those are death weapons, like scythes. But I mean, come on, like Mikey. Mikey's kind of a little shorty in the. I like to do Mikey. I like to do Mikey like this. For some reason. Which, you know, kind of spoilers. Let me search it up. Yeah, they're always... I'm always surprised. There's always, like... There's always, like, a name for these weapons that I, I never know or remember. But, yeah, I think this line is stellar. Um, these days, to get a good line with as much, like, detail and accessories... For under thirty dollars is a is a tall order, so I think they deserve a lot of credit for doing like basically like a budget option. Trying 
trying to, I'm trying to find a better place for Shorty Leo. Leo is kind of a shorty. Loyal subject figures always read as cheap to me. I mean, they are cheap. Um, when you're making a figure for 20 bucks these days, roughly, because a lot of times you can get them for like 18. So they are, they are cheap. Um, because they're, I don't know, they're designed to be cheap. So for me, I don't mind. I think that's cool. I think it's it's good to have like an, an affordable option for stuff. Because, you know, as, as you start getting into like more expensive stuff, like not a lot of people can afford it, you know? Oh, no. They're called scythes. Yeah, that makes sense. They'd be like a version of the scythe. Makes a lot of sense. I guess, I don't know. I guess I just always expect them to have like fancier names. Yeah, this is, this is definitely the best work they've ever done. Hands down. I mean, they the Super Shredder, like Toka and Razor, but these sculpts based on the stellar art... Come on. Fantastic. They're utterly fantastic. I do wish... Like, the turtles all have... It's like pretty much like angry heads or nothing. It's called the Kusari. The Kusari. Good to know. Thank you, Leonardo. But yeah, certainly the best sculpts. And this is my favorite Shredder design. I mean, come on. What do you... What's not to love? They even went with, like, the eye scar. As you can tell. The helmeted head, very fierce. Which head do you guys... Do we prefer here? The helmet head, where he's, like, purely the shredder, or some Orokusaki action? Helmet, for sure. Yeah, the helmet is... It's very classic. Shredder... Exeter in the house. Have any of you... Have, have everyone caught up on the IDW line? What about... Cape? Or no cape? They are decent with a good price point. I just can't get into another Team NT line after NECA. Is that because of price? Or it's just like NECA... Has just you know, taking up all the TMNT space price. Yeah, that's why I do like, again, I do like that these are generally cheaper. Cape. Folks liking the cape. It is a good cape. Like, I don't need every cape to be like cloth goods and posable, but it is bendy. So if you really wanted to, you could get, you could pose the cape. It's like here's like let's do it where like Shredder defeated all the turtles. They're they're great. They're hitting. They should be. You should be able to find them in like WalMarts and Targets. Um. <laughs> okay, is that? It's kind of as flat as Mike. He's gonna lay. I want Shredder, like, standing on Mikey a little bit. There we go. <laughs> Do you have a Batman figure for the comics or the movie? Um, I have... Where is my Batman? I don't know where I put him. I do have, oh no, here he is. I have the Team and T versus Batman. Do I collect Dragon Ball figures? No, but I've thought about it. Like I've gotten, 
I've I've dipped my feet into the SH oh, shit the SH figure arts with Luffy. Like if you want Luffy, what would Luffy think of Shredder? Um. So I'm very tempted to get the Dragon Ball stuff, but again, just for the same reason, like some people can't collect like NECA and other ones. At some point, you gotta you gotta kind of draw the line, or you're collecting everything, right? Um. But there, I would certainly like to. Um, I'll tell you that. <laughs> so there's here's Luffy reacting to Shredder. But yeah, this is. Hold on, this is the bat. Anybody seen the Batman versus Team and Team movie? This is the one that this is from? Ooh, kind of loose. That's... It's not good. Great Batman, though, I think. So I, ha I have this one from the TMNT versus Batman movie. Don't know where to watch it. Yeah, I mean, you have to get it on, like, DVD. I don't know if they have it up on any services. Uh, maybe HBO Max. Maybe Paramount Plus. Not not super sure. Like, there's Luffy freaking out at Batman. Paramount Plus. Yeah. I do have I have the I have this version I have the shredder that goes with this line. Um, well, look look at this pair. Who would win, Luffy or Batman? I mean, Luffy. As much as people say, you know, like Batman has prep time, Luffy has. Luffy has like pure willpower, you know. So as long as Luffy wants to win. And he's, he believes in the cause he's fighting for. I don't think there's any stop in Luffy, you know? <laughs> what a fun figure. Which cape is better, Batman or Shredder? I mean... Like, Batman has purely the cloth goods cape... There's a lot to it, like. Best action are lazy when it comes to Tums Turtle figures. They reuse the same molds for Mirage. Yeah, that's true. Like, I don't really like their earlier turtles. Um, and thank you for the follow. Um, yeah, people love the cloth goods, but there's no wire in it, so you can't pose it. Obviously, you can't do anything with the plastic one. Um, you got any capes? What Batman figure? This is the Team and T versus Batman. This is like the DC Direct line. Um, like, um, I have the the Mikey somewhere. Like, see that? Here's the Leonardo from that movie. It's a great movie. Um, Probably some of my favorite um, Team and T designs. Just I love like the chonkiness of this Leonardo, like the thickness of it. Super fun, and it is just like a solidly good Batman. Like it's it's kind of like the classic classic Batman. Yeah, I mean, I can't say, like, the articulation and stuff, it, it's not super great. But, like, looks-wise alone, I mean, come on. And if you wanted, you can even do, like, you know, he's, like, wrapped up in his cape if you wanted to. Here, I do have Mikey dressed up as Batman. He's just kind of buried at the moment. Let me, let me get him for you. Do you mean T for the Batman movie looks older than every other turtle? 
Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a very interesting one. So there's Mikey as Batman, which is just super fun, I think. It's it's really a great movie. That's a solid movie. Um, I just think they, they've made it kind of like a pain in the ass to track down and watch. But if we back these up, are they expensive or rare? Um, for a time, if you can believe it or not, they, they were like GameStop exclusives, right? Batman's son is Mikey. Yeah, like, it's it's such a good movie. It's it's super fun. Like, he even has, like, the M on the belt. Um, super, super fun. Um, gray and blue Batman is best Batman. I'm very inclined to agree. Um... These figures, you can get them on eBay. They're two packs, generally. This one is by itself, so Mikey's the only single. Otherwise, you have, like, the Leonardo and Batman two-pack. Um, generally, you, you can get most of the line for, I don't know, 60 to 80 bucks. Um, Leonardo and Batman usually go for more, so they're harder to track down. Um... So it's it's on the aftermarket, but yeah, they at one point they were clearanced at GameStop. You could get them you could get them for like twenty bucks for two figures. That was in like kind of before the pandemic. It was like two thousand eighteen, I think. But yeah, I think it's a super great line. Um, definitely a big fan, and I kind of think Shredder still scales decently with these turtles, though he's too small. The the actual Shredder for this line. I have in a box. He's like a much bigger, beefier shredder. Do I have some sanity left in me? Any Mutant Mayhem figures? I do have a bunch of Mutant Mayhem figures. Um, I have some new ones I haven't opened yet, but I have pretty much all of them. Um, except for, I don't have April yet. So here's like the Wrath. I did, this is like kind of a bit custom, um, where I did some Gundam marker to like color in some of the lines, because otherwise they're, they're Playmates, so they're $10 figures, so they're not, there's no like line work or paint, so I just, I went through kind of and added some. I don't really have any anime figures, except for old Luffy. I do have, um... Yeah, it was a fun. I had I had a lot of fun with it. Um, I also marked up a little bit. Oh god, almost fell. Almost fell. For Bebop, I added some chrome. So like all the silvery bits, I went through and added, um, which really makes this figure pop. Because none of that is painted usually. I didn't. I didn't necessarily do the best job ever. But the McFarlane, yeah, obviously McFarlane's killing it with 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 Batman DC figures, and I did I did some line work also on Rocksteady. Because I think I think these are really great sculpts and just a little. A little of the the line work really makes it pop. Um, I don't know that I did like the best job, but I think it's super fun. But yeah, McFarlane's. I haven't gotten too far into McFarlane's. I I pretty much just got just like the Beast Boy wave because I think that Beast Boy build a figure is super super rad. Um, and then, as I was saying, I don't have a lot of anime figures, but I've, I've recently been reading One Piece. Kind of a huge One Piece fan now. Um, I do have Sanji and Zoro on the way. They should be delivered next, like this week sometime. Do I have 1987 April or any you can show? Um, no, I don't have... I don't have I don't I really don't have many Aprils. Um No. Is the articulation on Luffy good? That is the million dollar question, isn't it? Um cuz obviously like um SH Figuarts is 
you know, they're sold as being like the most amazing articulation. So for the legs, I mean, the legs are fine. Nothing like crazy. You can't like the little the pant cuff. Like you can't you can't go further than that. Batman and Mikey got a crazy price tag on eBay. Yeah, um, for sure. Like the prices on those on the aftermarket have rose. Um, so Luffy has obviously really good ab crunch. He's doing like the full bend. Is that he's twisting? He has some really interesting like arm articulation, like in the shoulder. Like, do you see how it like comes up like that? I guess if you wanted to do, I don't know what that's for, but you can also like make it go down. You can hear, I don't know if it's like tight or what's going on, it's just not like the smoothest. You should probably pay attention because it's kind of a finicky joint so i mean i don't know the articulation's fine i don't i don't think the articulation honestly is is that much to write home about and i find it kind of like a delicate figure so i, I like it a lot um but when when people talk about having like the most amazing articulation in the world i don't i don't know about that um but it is i mean it is very good He's doing like the splits all crazy. Uh, not really any Marvel Legends. I'm I'm very tempted though. Like um, I've been wanting to get the X Men ninety seven wave. I think that one is super cool. But I don't know. I I find Marvel Legends kind of expensive for what you get. Um, which I say that having bought like the Luffy, which is like thirty five, which I don't think is necessarily worth it i mean the the likeness is freaking stellar but yeah so i don't i don't really collect any marvel legends wsg i'm too old to know what wsg means hello ryan um what's the rarest tmnt figure you have I mean, hard to say. Probably some of my zoinks. Um, <laughs> what's good? That's what I was thinking, but I wasn't sure. Um, so that makes me feel better. Um, the rarest figure, Alvin the Gangster. Um, I do have the 2008 NECA Mirage figures in the, in the actual box. That's not necessarily super rare. It's just pricey to get these days. But maybe some of my... like figures from a kid from the original line are rare love luffy he's just there yeah luffy's fantastic i just love i love the goofy <laughs> i love that face i think that face is stellar um i'm doing good alvin how are you doing we've just been everybody's just been joining but the star of the show tonight theoretically was this best action idw shredder which if you ask me this is the best shredder design i think like pound for pound i mean the 2012 version of shredder is really good uh 2003 shredder is obviously really good what up tt I just think, for me, the IDW Shredder is just all around the best. I'm a bit later. Yeah, this is this is definitely a lot later than my usual time for lives. But I was like, hey, I just got this today. I fell asleep earlier in the day, so I couldn't do like a <laughs> an afternoon live. And I was like, what if I go live at night? Where did you get the Luffy? Um, this one from Amazon. I think he, he's like $35, $36 on Amazon. Not bad. I've ordered Sanji and Zoro from AliExpress. Um, so, 
Yeah. That's where I got I got those. Yeah, I mean the the Luffy does have pretty good articulation. Um it's SH Figure Arts uh Luffy. It should pull it up. Like that's that's Luffy terrified. I got my Luffy at Walmart. Yeah, Walmart has some of the SH Figure Arts figures. Not a ton. They usually have just like the cheaper ones, um, in like you know like the thirty five dollar price range. And anything higher than that, you're like going online or or whatever. SSJ Goku. A lot are fake. Um, I mean, depending on where you buy it, like at Walmart itself, they're they're going to be legit. Uh, walmart.com because walmart.com has a lot of third-party sellers so that's kind of all over the place so you have to be careful um as far as i know like these ones this sh figure arts one hasn't been bootlegged yet but it's only a matter of time but yeah the dragon ball z figures i think are super super cool um i just haven't got into them when did i start collecting Goku for 20 yeah you know for 20 bucks as long as it's a good looking figure um I don't mind I started collecting pretty much since I was a kid um so I had a lot of toys but as an adult um there was a lot of years I wasn't necessarily still into collecting um I got more heavily back into it about two years ago what started it was I started getting into the Universal Monsters line. You see those? And up there on the shelf. Right there. So once I, I started getting into those. And then that got me back into collection. And you know. It's been a slippery slope. Ever since really. Um, where was the camera? I think the camera was like there right? So yeah. Um. A year. Yeah, for me, yeah. About two years. And you can see it, ju it escalates very, very rapidly. Um, but I, I don't know. I have a lot of fun. I love toys. It's fun. I don't know. It's just fun. It's just fun to look at them, you know? Like, how do you how do you see these two together in, like, this <laughs> this group shot and not be, like, thrilled? Look, this is like Shredder. Shredder is going to show Luffy the world, you know? Like, Luffy, my boy. Like, because Shredder would be, at least, Shredder would be, you only have 40 figures. Hey, 40 figures is a lot. And don't feel bad, because before you know it, that 40 is going to be like 60 collecting comics. So, yeah, like, here's Shredder being like Luffy. Like, Lu Shredder would at least be, probably be an Emperor of the Sea, right? You know? I mean, he'd, he'd certainly be a warlord, but I think Shredder would be an Emperor if he was in One Piece land. Um, collecting comics is super fun. Again, it gets, it gets pricey, too. You make stop motions. Yeah, I, I feel like I've seen them before. Like, we've talked before about them. Maybe I was mistaken. Look, and then it's like Leonardo is gonna step in to save the day. In the Batman, he's kind of he's kind of more like a samurai. In the Batman versus Team and Team One. Look, we can do kind of a little of all of them. I really love... I really love this Rocksteady, which, again, any of the silver you see, I colored on with um, a Gundam marker, which was super easy to do. 
The figures you want are always sold out. Yeah, depending what you collect. I mean, some lines are easier to get than others, of course. But, you know. So it depends. But it is it is a bit of a, a rat race, for sure. Look at this short chonker rock steady. That's why I, I like buying like online. Yeah, rock steady, bebop. Where here's rock steady. <laughs> I'm just I'm losing my mind. Losing my mind. But yeah. Yeah, that's why, yeah. If I can order online these days, I do. What I what I best like about this Rocksteady figure is he can sit. Um, I think that's fun. <laughs> mm, I am not an M. <gasps> where, where did Leo's bandana go? Oh, dang it. The one thing I don't like about best action, I mean, there's there's quite a few things, but these ones, the bandana pops out super easy. I have no idea where it is. Not, not good. Not good at all. Where did it go? Hmm. Hmm. Is that new Rocksteady? Yeah, this is I mean it's it's from the movie. Um so it's the Mutant Mayhem Rocksteady. I'm not a Team and T fan, but I stopped by because I am bored. Well thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I mainly collect Team and T these days. Though you can see, you know, I've been I've been branching out to lots of other stuff naturally. Maybe not in a lot of other stuff just yet, but bro, gonna be sick. I hope. What did I What did I miss in the chat? How do I feel about the new show? I think it'll be great. Um. The movie was good, and so it's a lot of the same people, and it's a lot of people who have been involved in the movies and the shows before. So, what did I do to you? <laughs> My Team and T Grail? Um, hmm, that's a good question. I don't know if I have a Grail necessarily. Um, a TM and T Grail. Luffy actually fits with his crew. I think he does too. I think he's a good <laughs> He's a good like wacky pair. Um My Grail probably um like the invisible Mikey from the original Universal Monsters line or Raph as the Metaluna mutant or creature Leo. Basically the the second wave of Universal Monster Turtles. Which I have. I can show you here. Oh actually this is. Like pretty much the only two in April I have. So like this Universal Monsters line. They did like Creature Leo. Which I would love to have. I'd love to have Mutant Raph. Or Invisible Man Mikey. But this line is just super expensive. I, I, this one I got mint in box on eBay for, I don't know, like 60 bucks. Jake Twitchin in the house. What is this? But yeah, you can, you can see like at the time these came out, there was so many figures. <laughs> but these are the one. these, these would be my grails. Invisible Man, Michelangelo. Raph and Creature Leo. Nearly midnight, these are wild hours. True, but in um in my time it's only 932. What are you still doing up, Jake? Everybody follow Jake. Any of y'all into video games? 
Jake is always streaming like fun video games and stuff. He's a he's a big Twitch guy. Were all of those actually released? Yes, they were. They did they did come out. Um, they were just they're harder to get because they came out towards the end of the the Team and T line. So by that time, you know, the late '90s things were kind of petering off. So not a lot got sold necessarily. So those are harder to get. So those would probably be my grails. It's Saturday night. I'm a degenerate. Nah. I mean, I think it's normal to stay up late. Have you played the Cowabunga Collection? Yes, I did. It's pretty good. Um, I had a good time with it. A lot of hard games, though. The best game is TMNT 3 Radical Rescue. Is the best one. That's as, that's as good as you're ever going to get for a TMNT game. Um, quote me on it. It's just, it's simply that good. Ever since, I blame Jake for that, um, the whole simply too good. Is that a Kyle Bosman quote, by the way, Jake? Is that Kyle Bosman? I can't remember. Yeah, I, I think the, the whole, the simply too good goes through my head way more times than it should. It's driving me nuts that I can't find where the hell Leo's bandana went. from i think you should leave yeah it's i feel like it's a kyle bosman quote or is he quoting from that show for some reason when i think of it's simply too good i think of kyle bosman if you want to get into dbz i would get the new spec or new spec goku is there only 30 yeah i mean they generally keep the goku figures like cheaper as like an entry to the line right just the delivery, maybe? Yeah, it's definitely a very Kyle Bosman delivery. Um, I don't know. I really do like this Shredder taking Luffy under his wing pose, which maybe you can see it better there. Like, um, God damn it. These fucking best action drills. I do have the black and white IDW ones. Thank you for the follow, Turtle King. Um... I do have those. Again, they're the, they're the exact same figures. So you can get your Mikey with a questionable wink. Very suggestive. Um, but I have them in the box. I love the artwork on the box, but I don't necessarily love like the black and white versions. No, it isn't. What is going on here? $30. $30 is a lot. Jared loves TMNT. Um, no, it's only 9.35. I was looking at that Mikey head earlier. It's a great Mikey, but it's just like, it's a very extreme. It's like he just like got like, he was eating an orange and the pulp shot into his eye. So it's cool. But for a figure, it's, it's very extreme. It's also 11.35. Yeah, $30... In comparison to other prices, it's not a lot, but $30 is nothing to sneeze at, you know. That's still a, a fair chunk of change, especially spending on toys, so, you know. $30, I, I will agree, $30 is also a lot of money, especially because you can use it on a lot of other things. What figure has more detail? Um, I mean, it really kind of depends what you're looking at when you look at figures and prices you have to consider the price so like this figure whoops sorry for the the bump this one i paid 34 30 dollars probably 35 i don't know 35 what's up rue guy um neca last ronin has the most detail i mean that that does have a lot of detail NECA has a lot of detail, but again, NECA figures are like $36. So if you're comparing a $36 figure versus... This is a, a $20 shredder. Caught those. Nope. Fuck. These goddamn figures. I, I should have done this on the desk. Like for, 20, for $22, I think this one is... Cause it's like twenty one ninety nine. That's a great level of detail, 
but again, it's you know twenty dollars. Uh, the Mutant Mayhem figures. Ignore the chrome. I painted the chrome on myself. They're ten dollars, so you get less detail. So it kind of um, kind of really depends. I bought a NECA figure for sixty-five at Walmart. Yeah, they can sixty-five is quite a lot. So for sixty-five dollars, you would expect a lot of detail. So you know, I don't know. It's it's always a weird thing. Like this figure. This Batman Mikey I bought probably $60. I think originally it was like 30 at GameStop. But there's not necessarily a lot of detail on it. But, you know, so I don't know. The whole detail thing, I pretty much just buy what I like. And if I can afford it, that's really all that matters to me. I like how, like, the bat cowl, like, doesn't... There's, there's too much bat cowl to fit over his, like his big head compared to Batman. I think that's a good detail they worked in there. But yeah, like this one, there's Luffy. I found a SHF Goku for 17 at Target and it was real. I mean, Target, like guys, Target isn't going to have like bootleg figures. They're, <laughs> they only buy from the actual people like target target ain't selling bootlegs folks so if you see a figure at target it's real um but like so this is this is effectively a marvel legend this is a hasbro figure for the dungeons and dragons movie um i think originally they're 25 like 25 and so it has a lot of detail but compared to what? The Last Ronin game on PlayStation? I mean, The Last Ronin, it's going to be probably on all platforms. At least PC and Xbox as well. We haven't really seen anything of it. So, I mean... 3D Team and T games in the past have been pretty crappy. Like, there was... Um, Mutants in Manhattan. Which, here, this is a fun... This is a fun a fun little thing to be aware of. Um, fuck did that go? I'm, I'm still so annoyed. But look, I'll show you. I can get this freaking case out without demolishing my collection. Fun fact. These turtles, it's the same design. So Mutants in Manhattan... Based on the Santa Luco turtles, the same turtles, um, this game sucked. This game sucked a lot. <laughs> I mean, it, maybe sucked is a, is too strong a word. Um, same shredder. This one, this one shredder went a little more extreme. But this is just a very boring game. So. Whenever they announce a new Team and T game, I think I rightfully am a little skeptical. The Team and T, the 2003 Team and T game based off the movie was pretty rad. I actually played that a bit ago, and hey, pardon, what's up? Um, it's not bad. It's not a great game though. It's just for as big a brand as Team and T is, you would think they'd have like stellar games. Um. But when they've gone into the 3D realm, they haven't been that great. Yeah, I, I, th I would say it's good for its time. Shredder's Revenge is fun, though I really only played Shredder's Revenge until I got to the end. And then I was kind of bored with it, to be honest. And the DLC was cool. And again, maybe it's just because I'm older as a kid, I would have played Shredder's Revenge like a million times. Um, Minecraft TMNT was surprisingly solid, actually. Minecraft Team and T was kind of a banger. Um, way better than it ever had a, had any right to be. Um, but yeah. So the last Ronin game, I think it should be good. Um, the last Roman was, was such a huge success. I would assume they would 
they would make sure that one is good. Um, and thank you. Thank you. Um, Shredder's Revenge was super fun. Um, obviously, it was a great game. Thank you. I'll, I'll try. There, yeah, they did do some DLC for Shredder's Revenge, which was great, but it was it was mainly really just like cosmetic. I hope it is. It's the guys that made God of War. No, um, the developers of the the last Ronin game is um, it's Black Forest Games, who they made. I think they previously made like Destroy All Humans. Um, thank you. You're awesome. Um, but yeah, they, they've said they want the game to play like a God of War game. It's not made by the God of War people. It's it's made by a studio that's owned by THQ. Um, yeah, so, I mean, we'll see. I mean, new studios or unknown-ish studios make good games all the time. How am I single? Boy, it's just a mystery. It's a mystery of the world, I tell you what. Uh, everyone, as soon as I go outside... I'm just mobbed by people who want to be with me. It's really, it's rough. It's hard. But, you know, you move on. You do the best you can. Um, ladies, see how much I... <laughs> Fun fact. Um, there was a girl who wanted to go on a date with me. And I was like, I don't know. I kind of spend all my money on figures and stuff. So I don't know if I want to pay for a date. <laughs> Um, that made me laugh, but where did you get that Leonardo eBay? This is eBay Leonardo. It's from the Batman versus Team and Team movie. Um, Super Saw, I love. You lasted three days. Three days at what? Between dating someone. Dating's hard. Don't let don't let anybody else tell you otherwise. Where the fuck? Like you ever lose something and then you don't know where it is and it just like it grinds your gears until you find it. I can't find Leonardo's bandana. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I guess I like being alone. You know who does oh, fuck. You know who doesn't like being alone? Donatello. Look at him. Gotta go, but great life. Thank you, Ryan. Take care. Hope you have a great day and or night. And be careful, cause Donatello's coming to steal your girl. Look. Or your guy. Whatever. He's coming to steal your lover. Right. Do we have the new Ninja Turtle Universal Monsters? I do have I have all the ones that have been released. They have their own shelf. Um yeah, I do have like I have um I can show you. You're talking about, of course, Donatello has the Riz. Donatello is the Rizzler. Um, Shredder will most likely be Dracula, almost certainly. I'd, I'd bet money on it. So yeah, 5K has been selling these. Um, the Fury Toys, this is Samurai... I think they, they call it now Samurai Force. Hello, Chris. The Rizzler of Oz. <laughs> yeah, so this is Fury Toys. I think it's like Samurai Force Spring. Pretty, obviously super dope. How much was it? Uh, yeah, not Leonardo as we call it. Um, it was like 50, 60. Do I have Revolt Tech? No. Um, I wish I would have got Revolt Tech at the time, but I wasn't really collecting figures. Hello, AD. 
Um, so I, I, I never got those, and now the ship on that has long sailed. But yeah, this is a fantastic figure. Um, I can't wait for the Donatello, which is called Musket Man. And then there's a Splinter, who is like the master or something. But yeah, this figure... Just the detail on this guy is insane. It's so good. I like a smaller turtle. And he pairs. I'm just fucking. God damn it. I just figured if you could see how, how little space I'm crammed into here. Do you have the movie Ninja Turtle action figures? Um. Generally, yes. I have. There's a there's a lot of figures that qualify as moving Ninja Turtle figures. But yeah, the ones they sell at Ross. Are you talking about like the Power Rangers turtles? Those ones I don't have. Super cool though. I'd love to have them. Where's your Splinter? My Splinter. Um, I don't have a lot of Splinters necessarily. Um, I have some. Like, I have the tune. You're probably thinking, actually, the, the loyal subjects. Um, the same people who made these ones made, like, a, a, a early, their earlier turtles. They're, like, arcade, kind of. They're pixely paint. But, yeah, this is one of my splinters. The pixelated ones. Yeah, that's best action. Those are best action ones. I, I don't have those. I have I have like their Donatello. The the previous best action figures haven't been a fan of. Do I have Turtles in Disguise? No. Um I haven't really gotten like into the NECA turtles. The the NECA Toon turtles, I should say. NECA games. Yeah, the NECA arcade ones, they haven't made those for some years now. So you can get them on like AliExpress or stuff. But it's it's been quite a while. So you, you wouldn't find them retail. You'd find them like in your local toy store or somewhere like that. I just found one Leonardo of 1991 on some old toys of a friend. I was so happy when I found it. That's rad. That's rad. It kind of looks like the game they have on the Nintendo Switch because I have one of them. Yeah, you're probably thinking like the arcade versions. Um, yeah, that's almost certainly the loyal subjects, best action turtles. I would wage a lot of money on that. Still looking around. But yeah, in terms of video games, I hope the Ronin game will be good. But here's where I kind of have my doubts. This game, also the IDW Turtles, the IDW team, and this game, it was developed by Platinum, so it should have been a really good game, but it was just kind of boring. How do I feel about the knockoff Mirage Turtles? I think they're fantastic. Absolutely buy them if you can. Totally worth it. One of the best purchases I've made. Let me have it. The game? Yeah, the game is kind of not harder to get, but it's not as cheap as you would think. I don't think that game is super great. I played through it on stream. I think I have like the VOD on YouTube. Not super great. It's okay. It's just, it's not, it could have been so much better is what it is. I don't think those games can handle four main characters. Maybe, yeah, if they would focus... That's why The Last Ronin will probably be good, because they can just do one at a time. What happened to the rotating stand? Um, I still have it. It's just kind of a pain in the ass. Because um, mine is so small. I need a bigger one. It can hold... Like, they're all jammed on there. That off-brand Samurai Turtle is dope. It is super cool, like... One of my favorite ones. I think I have the Leo head. Out. Where is it? I don't know. Let me, let's do the Leo head on him. How much was it? 
a four-player online team and T game like Borderlands, that would be cool. Um, the the Samurai Turtle, I it was, mm, like fifty. I don't like Brown Donnie. I love I love a Brown Donnie. I mean, not really brown. Technically, it's like like a a, a army green. But you know, hello Teddy. Yeah, I think I want to say it, it's been a bit, but I feel like this was like fifty bucks, fifty five, so around there. Are they sold out? Yeah, these ones sold out basically last year. I always loved brownish Donnie. Me too. So here is like the, the Leonardo head, so to speak. Very cool. Tons of detail on this figure. I still have, I do have Heat Boy's Leo. He's in the corner. I should have Heat Boy's Mikey on the way. A lot of accessories. It has a decent amount of accessories. He has like some chains and hooks and different hands. And I mean, I mean technically the head is like an accessory. I'm like, shit. God, it's such a pain in the ass dropping things. Not because they break, but because then I have all this shit on the floor that I have to go find and pick up. Thank you for sharing the live, Teddy. I appreciate that. God, I just have stuff everywhere. Everywhere. Such a pain. Thank you. Thank you, folks, for sharing the live. I am very grateful. You might see my cat's shadow soon. She's coming in front of the light. Boots. Do you have that Mega Mew? I don't have Mega Mouth. Um, I should probably pick that up at some point, but I haven't yet. Um, I did pick up, I and I still need to open, I like Genghis Frog and Scumbug. But I, ha I haven't picked up Mega Mouth. Um, I don't think I've seen it in stores, actually. You need a second apartment soon to hold all your toys? Yeah, I'm actually thinking of putting some in boxes. It's not a Mega Mouse. It's like that... It's like that you in from the movie, the big one. Yeah, like Super super Duper Fly. Um, I think I think on the figure he's called... like He was at one point called Mega Mouth. But yeah, it's, it's Super Duper Fly. I think they called him Mega Mouth before the movie came out or something to not spoil it. But yeah, I think it's Super Duper Fly. My mom said I'm going to get a baby turtle. What should I name it? Um, Poncho. Would be a good turtle name. But yeah, I definitely... I, I am running out of space. Um... Yeah, man. Pardon, pardon didn't even bother giving you a name. He just he just quoted your name. Give it your own name is what he's saying. Do I have Heat Boy's Wrath? No, Heat Boy's Wrath hasn't came out yet. Um, the next one to come out should be Mikey. They told me they told me it should ship in like December. How about Uno? Uno is cool. Pardon feels ashamed for what he did, as he should. Oh, look. I can show you guys. Look, I have, I still have these stickers. For, look at that. Look at these Pardon My Nerd stickers. Do you have any, like, Christmas Ninja Turtle action figures? Actually, yeah. Believe it or not. A snapping turtle. So, look, Pardon My Nerd. He's a pretty cool dude. He sent me some stickers once. I still have them. I don't think these are I don't think I'm sweaty enough to like stick them to my forehead this time. Yeah, kind of actually, a little bit. A little bit little bit sweaty. 
I hold them. The Christmas turtles. I'll show you the Christmas turtles I do have. If I can maneuver around in this cramped ass room. Nope, it fell. It fell. <clears throat> so I have like a turtle stocking. Right? My opinion on the new movie? I think the new movie is fantastic. Um... Dun 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 These are these are reaction figures. They have they have candy cane weapons. Do I own any TMT dioramas? Um, I have like a photo one. Do you watch Christmas movie? Okay, when I generally do if it's Christmas time. But yeah, these are the Super 7 Reaction Turtle. Oh, fuck. Where did Leo's arm go? Oh. I swear to God, like, when stuff falls... It falls. Their arms come off. Hello, Kane. So here's what happened. If you guys can see. Can you see like there's like a there's like a, a peg hole, right? You can see that there. Right. And apparently this is like an issue with, with Leonardo. I've seen this a lot happen to a lot with Leonardo. Um, trying to find it and it's in your hand, right? Right? And so I kind of... this The arm popped out originally. Did you ever see Violent Night? No. The one piece. So the arm popped out originally. The way it works is there's like a double peg. Right? But... When I tried to jam it back in, I didn't know there was a peg there. I thought it was just like a ball and socket. So I kind of jammed it in. And this this shoulder joint is sharp. And so it kind of shredded it. So you can see like the bottom peg got like all got kind of mangled. I thought this was extra. So I clipped off the top part. So now basically this arm pops out very easy. I can put it back in easy. So it's back in, it's fine, but it comes out very, very easy. My grandma was just crawling on all fours like normal and started barking but fell on the ceiling. That happens. That's what that's what grandmas do. Grandmas grandmas tend to do that classic grandma behavior. Um but yeah, so the arm my arm pops off, but it's really it's it's not like a huge issue. It's still fine. He doesn't, it doesn't like fall out. Grandma got the good meds. Yep. Grandmas deserve the best. So give them the best. But yeah, I, I would say if yours pops out, um, just be on the lookout for that peg. It pegs in like on top and bottom and just, yeah, but otherwise it's fine. Like it, it just... Yeah, it is, it is, it is, it is what it is. It does seem to be an issue because I've seen a lot of people run into that same problem. Yeah, so it's not ideal, but my figure still works fine enough. Have you seen the WWE Ninja Turtles? Yes, I actually have the second wave of them. Are you planning on getting the Revolt Tech Team in T? Um, no, because they're, they're so expensive. Are those a new series? Let me show you folks. Let me let's get let's get back into IDW land. Um, the Revolt Tech Turtles are just so expensive. You have to find them on like the aftermarket, and I don't necessarily have an interest in doing that. 
Maybe one day. But, you know. Look, who was excited for the rotating stand? What do you think of the new turtles? I think the new turtles are fantastic. The little, the baby turtles in the last Ronin. Stellar. Stellar. Yesterday I saw SHF Luffy. I would have gotten it, but I was expensive, so I couldn't buy it for my brother. It is expensive. It's $35. It's the cheapest that SH Figure Arts gets generally, but yeah, it's still an expensive figure. So don't let anybody tell you that $35 isn't a lot of money, because it is. Let's be real. Oh, God, Donnie's... And he's standing like such an ass. Will you go to the Team and T studio? The one in like Dover? But instead I got my brother a shirt. That sounds like a good choice. You, you don't don't underestimate a good shirt. I just ordered a t shirt with my logo on it. I'm pretty excited about. Who am I missing? Where's Raph? Where is Raph? Raph. Shit. Hold on, folks. This is why I need a bigger goddamn stand. Fuck. I missed him in the new movie. What did you say when you saw the Ninja Turtles movie when they were like the turtles? What did you say when you saw the Ninja Turtles movie when the turtles were like turtles before? I don't know. I don't know what that I don't know what that question means. I'll be I'll be real honest. Yeah, these figures as you see before you are the IDW turtles. Um I was hurt and in pain. No, it was before. Oh, the little baby turtles? I think they were super cute. I think they were adorable. Look at these little adorable guys. Um, yeah, these figures are from the Loyal Subjects Best Action. I would love to go to the Dover place someday. I think they were very cute. Why is Mikey blue? Just in, in the comics, he's he's that kind of color. The wash on these figures kind of makes it darker, but that's just kind of what it is. Bro, when I'm bored and you're on live, you will always see me. Right on. Right on, Chris. I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, I think the movie was stellar. I love the baby turtle designs. I think they're super cute and endearing. And the reason, look, I'm not on my phone this time, so usually when I'm on my phone, I'm seeing the image on the screen, so that's why I'm looking like directly at you all the time. But I'm, I'm streaming from my computer, so I have it on the chat, so I'm looking at the chat. Say my username, I love fan, f, fanf movie one two three. What is fanf movie? Is that supposed to be Five Nights at Freddy's, but you did the A out of order? It's not, though. It's fan. It's five at night Freddy's. Look at your name, bro. I love five at night Freddy movie. Mm, hate to break it to you. If that's what you meant, you should rapidly go back to your profile. Can I get a shout out? No, Leonardo. You cannot get a shout out. <laughs> Five Nights at Night 5. Freddy at Night 5. Leo. I haven't... Is the is the, is the the Five Nights at Freddy's movie good? I mean, a shout out. Everybody, everybody go follow Leonardo. Can I get a hello, the One Piece? No. No, you can't. Not scary. No. I mean, because I've heard people like it. That's a totally different movie. Five at Night Freddy. Eh. Easy. <laughs> easy there, pardon. Easy. Easy now. 
Five Nights at Freddy's. Co How did it copy TMNT? You're crying? I mean, I wish I could help you, One Piece. I wish I could. I love One Piece. But I have a strict policy not saying hello to anyone. I co it copied Saw? Watch the first five minutes. I had to double check what movie I was watching. I mean, are you are y'all a big fan of the game? Just say hi. I can't. I can't say hi. I can't do it. FNAF is kind of boring, not scary. Willy's Wonderland is better. I thought you. I thought I was watching Saw. Don't say hi. The four main animatronics think they're the Ninja Turtles. That's pretty cool. Okay, bet. Hello. Is it against the rules? It is. Totally. It's. I mean, Pardon can tell you. He also streams on TikTok, and it's very much against the rules. You can't. You're. I mean, really? I'm not even supposed to talk to chatters? Um, I, 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 it's, I, I can't make the rules. It's just what they are. Fuck. This is all fucked. What if Five Nights at Freddy's was FNAF? What if? It'd be a whole, be a whole different ball game, wouldn't it? We love the Earth. At Chris, Team and T better. I don't know what that is. Say I like, I don't. I hate Team and T. Look at the look at the little Christmas one. I think you can still get these probably. Four action figures inside. Look at that. Incredible. I guess it could be time for me to put this back on the wall, huh? Hang it there. Welcome back, Jared. Jared loves TMNT even more than like. You definitely don't have a lot of TMNT figures. Definitely true. I'm randomly scrolling up on different lives. How is that? What's the price on Big Bad Toy Store? I think I paid... I can't remember what I paid. Why is Raphael a little bigger? They're just different sizes. Um, I like the I like the different size turtles. Raphael is kind of... It seems like he's just... Certainly in the IDW comics, he's kind of more chonky. But it, it depends who's drawing him. These are the Met Mateus Santaluco designs. Raph is the strongest. Yeah, generally... Um, kind of depends though, again, and, and in a comic series, the IDW, why is Raph so mad? They're kind of all mad, um, really. They're kind of all just angry, angry dudes. Do you have Spider-Man 2? No, I don't have a, I don't have a PlayStation 5, actually. It's okay when they make him a little bigger, but like in Rise, it's just stupid. Whoa, I love Rise. How dare you? How dare you? Um, I I just think it's fun when they're different. So, I mean, Rise took that to the most extreme, obviously. But I, I think it was really cool. He's, and they were like different turtles. So I'm a big fan of that, actually. The Rise movie was fantastic. If, if y'all haven't seen the Rise movie, where do Raph size, which is not using them, the toys... Um, on, on this one, he has, I like Five Nights at Freddy's so much. I, Rise is a good series. Don't let anybody tell you Rise was bad. Rise was incredible. Um, Raph has like little sigh things on his back. So you can't, let me... I have to be very careful. I have to to reposition it when it's moving is a dangerous game, folks. And this is on the highest speed. But now you'll be able to see. Chat, get him out of here. <laughs> no, Rise is awesome. Mikey's color. Yeah, Mikey's just like a, a blue. He's a, he's a more of a blue. At least in in this depiction. Um 
Holders on the front of Raph figure. Not on this one. On, on this one, they have it in the back. Um. Yeah, in in Rise, there's the Shredder is like kind of like an ancient evil force, which is cool. I don't know. Rise is Rise is incredible. It it starts off a little rocky. It's it's harder to follow because it's kind of like instead of being like a full episode, it's 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 pretty much like um three segments. Um so that can be a little hard for folks, but as the series progresses, progressives as the series progresses it, it goes more and more into like the story and the lore i always felt like with weapon holders on the back they'd never be able to reach them true true i mean the turtle shell who knows we have to make like a real mutant turtle not the blue turtle he a little but diffy i love media and item collectors though this is so cool well thank you I can I at one point I was learning Japanese so I can almost remember uh the katakana but I I can't I can't really Rufy Rufy Luffy is that Luffy It's Luffy san yeah right on right on I do know I, I, it's somewhere in my brain still. Um, do you have different figures like anime Spider-Man or stuff like that? No. Um, I mean, where the hell is Luffy? I do have Luffy. I'm a huge One Piece fan. I'm on chapter like 800 or so of the manga. I've been reading the manga. Um, how about Michelangelo holding the katanas and the Sai and the bow staff? I mean, we could do that. He only has he doesn't have enough storage though necessarily. My favorite team in teaming is um the Kawabunga it is. Mikey doing the Kawabunga face. But yeah, I'm a huge One Piece fan. I need to get back on it's like last weekend I read like a hundred chapters and the Shonen Jump app was like, you gotta stop. It like blocked me from reading more. Do you have vintage? I do have a, a fair bit of vintage turtles. It's going to make the last Ronin. I mean I have the last Ronin. Um. Oh shit! 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 Aroni. Fuck, man. Chucks. He dropped some chucks. I really need like a whole different thing. But here's here's the last Ronin. I have the red Ronin hands because I thought it was cool to have like a bloody hand. You know, I thought that was super neat. But yeah, that's the last Ronin. He has the again. I gave him the red weapons from the red Ronin. But you can you can kind of see like the size, the size comparison going on. You can't you can't you can't actually see because I'm a fucking idiot. Where's Hunchback Leo? Hunchback Leo is back on the shelf. I'd get him out now. Usually I would take you around with like my phone to give you a tour. But I, I'm on my PC, so I have my camera. The last Ronin is Mikey, Raphael, and Leo, and Donnie died. <laughs> oh, okay. I read that weird. I thought I read that as like they're all three together. But yeah, the the ra the the rast the rast Ronin is <laughs> Jesus. Uh, the last Ronin is Mikey. Mummy Mikey is fantastic. I highly recommend Mummy Mikey. But yeah, the last Ronin, they, they recently put out at Walmart, you can get like a black and white Ronin. But look at this little, look at this goofball in his freaking glasses. What are you, what are you doing in your goggles, goggle boy? Um, what turtle do you think that can beat all of their versions of the turtles? Um... I mean, probably the 2012 Turtles. Mikey is John Wick. Any Marvel or DC? No. Um, and again, that's just because like I already spend so much money on Turtles. If I start buying other stuff, before I know it, I've bought all this stuff and it's just like out of control. Um, 
Mutant Mayhem is better than Rise of the Ninja Turtles. I mean, potato, potato. Um, as a whole, I'd probably say Rise is better. But again, Rise is a whole series. It's two seasons and a movie versus one movie. So it's kind of hard to compare. Farmer Mikey. He does actually do... He does do farming. Let me show you. Um... The last Ronin is Farmer Mikey. Look. He's farming. Messi or Ronaldo? Um, Ronaldo's way cuter. Um, you have seen what Rise can do? 2012 gets stomped out. Rise, that's true. The, they, the Rise have like mystic powers. Um, so, you know. But yeah. If the last Ronin... If you want the backstory... You, you have to read The Lost Years, which is kind of what happened leading up to The Last Ronin. It's actually way darker. Like, let me show you. You guys want some spoilers? Of course you do. Screw it. Um, I actually probably, like, some of this stuff, like... Whoop. Like Mikey, Mikey's not playing around. Um, eighty four versus two thousand eighteen. I mean, two thousand eighteen is pretty wild. Um, yeah, definitely read the Lost Years, folks. Um, the Lost Years is quite good. Quite good indeed. Yeah, Pardon My Nerd is pretty cool. Go follow him. I'm going to bed, but I'm leaving you on. Well, thank you, Chris. Thank you so much. Thank you all for joining me. I wasn't sure if, like, a nighttime live could be successful, you know? You get so stuck in your ways. Usually it's during the daytime. But then I also feel bad. I'm never hanging out with you folks during the nighttime because I know sometimes you can't join at night. Sing one Team and T theme song and it has to be all lyrics. Last Ronin 2. Yeah, that that should come out um soon. I think I think they have it slated for like December. They're making Inside Out 2 movie. I haven't seen Inside Out, I don't think. Um I didn't mean to send that. I meant to say you got some goaded figures. It's all good. It's all good. I have a lot of fun with my figures. Um a, a Team and T theme song. Here's the thing, like, a lot of people, like, they watch movies and they do the quotes and stuff, but I don't necessarily do that. So, uh, the whole theme song, I don't think I could sing any one of the theme song. Um, I've recently been watching The Next Mutation, finish the lyrics. Look, someone give me a lyric line and I'll see if I can finish the line after it. That's the, that's the best I can give you. I can't. I can't. <laughs> Does Raph have a goatee here? It kind of looks like it, huh? No. What you're looking at, he has like a belt for his ninja stars. And so his belt's like riding up. Kind of looks like it though, huh? Go, nin go ninja, go ninja, go. The turtle rap doesn't count. I don't even, I don't even know that though. Um, yeah, I don't know. Stuff like theme songs. Shit, there goes Donnie. Um, fuck. And that means his bandana went too. God damn it. It's fucking bandanas. Um, so was his bandana on? Maybe his bandana wasn't even on. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not great with the songs. Here we go. Lean Green Ninja Team. I don't know, folks. I don't I don't sing these songs a lot. They're cool. They're catchy. But there's so much other dumb stuff I need to keep in my brain. Leonardo leans Donatello does machines. No. No. 
It's like it's something like he does what it takes to get the ninjas through or something is the 2012 one. Raphael is cool but rude. Is that the shredder with the turtle headband accessory? No. That's just the regular shredder. This is the new the IDW shredder. Michelangelo is a party dude. I mean Pardon is kind of a music guy, so maybe Pardon just remembers songs. But I don't know. I've just never felt the need to like memorize the turtle songs. But yeah, this is this is IDW Shredder. The good guys win and the bad guys lose. I keep thinking like I just have like a jumble of all the songs. Like I keep thinking the next mutation song, like Four Green Turtles, Cover the News. Yeah. I modded that Mikey so much, but these are very bad pieces from Best Action. I don't think so. I think these these are the best fuck. These are the best work Best Action's done. Where the hell did his bandana shoot to? How does that even happen? How does how does a bandana get launched? You know? Explain. Someone explain that to me. No, I think I think these best action figures are stellar. Again, they're Chinatown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Plastic is magical. <laughs> I swear to God, like it, it fell and it just like shot across the world. So I'm, I'm never finding that shit ever again. And these, the goddamn Raphael's gone too. God damn it. So that's so fucking annoying. I hate that. Maybe I do hate these figures. How about that? Do you have any signed figures? I actually do have a. I have a Fugitoid where the card is signed by Kevin Eastman. How much do these cost? They're $21.99 on Amazon. Though a lot of times you can pick them up for like $18. But I think this is stellar. This is the best action line based on the IW artwork. I think these are all really good. How can you tell the TMNT Red Mask with no weapons? I mean, depending on the uh, version, you can't. Like, who's drawing it? That, that was kind of the problem. That's why when they made the cartoon show... They had to give them colors because they can't market that to kids. So when they did the figures, their smiles, kind of, seen a lot about them snapping. I mean, if you've watched any of my lives, you know I'm not careful with my figures particularly. So they haven't broke. Leonardo's arm is kind of jacked up, and I did mess that up further. But I don't know. So, again... Everybody has their experience. So I have heard people breaking them, but personally, I've never broke mine. And I've, I've dropped them at least like 40 times on this live alone in the span of like in the span of two hours. I've dropped each and every one of these figures at least like four or five times. And that's no joke. Mm. So, you know. But I am I am losing my mind that I can't find the bandanas. Don't they usually have different shell markings? Uh, I mean, kind of. In animation or like in the 2012 show, Raph does have some noticeable ones. But it really depends like what iteration you're talking about. Who's drawing them. Have you seen the Nekalair and are you thinking about getting it? I did think about getting it a lot. But ultimately, like, I don't have a lot of the Toon Turtles, and it just didn't make sense at the time, so I didn't get it. But it is very cool. Everyone dropped a figure in their life, it's true. Like, And, and so I'm just saying, if these were particularly brittle, I think I would have broken one by now, but I haven't broken any of them. So I think they're pretty good, generally. The only thing I don't like is you can you can kind of see on these they stand like a little forward. Yeah, Pardon did get it. He got it. It's really cool. I think it's it's dope. Like I almost bought it just for the hell of it. But then I decided I should be I should at least pretend to be somewhat responsible. You know? 
it's really driving me nuts why I can't find that freaking bandana. But yeah. My NECA party wagon should be in here on Thursday. Right on. Yeah, that's another one I skipped on again just because I don't have a lot of the tune line. But I do have the Super 7 party wagon coming. So I'm very excited for that. Should be really dope. The 80s ones I used to beat pretty hard. Yeah, me too. A lot of my a lot of my older figures are are busted are busted all to hell. Super 7 was so much more. Yeah, the Super 7 one was like 450. Um I paid it off like 2 years ago. Have you listened to any of the Team and T theme song remixes? Um probably. I mean, when I make videos, a lot of times sometimes I'll go through and and pick like a Team and T song. Um, drinking orange juice, right on. I love orange juice. Do you do drink it with pulp or no pulp? I generally, I generally try not, I, I, I stay away from pulp. Um, no pulp. Yeah. I, I like pulp. I, the pulp orange juice, I don't mind if it's warm. Cold orange juice, I prefer no pulp. Because when pulp is cold, they're like little bullets. I paid for the party wagon back in April 2022. Yeah, the Super 7 party wagon, um, I did like the payment plan through like Sideshow Collectibles. Um, and so I paid like 50 bucks a month for a while. And so I've had that paid off for like a year, I think. Rate my profile picture. I can't really see it. If um, I assume it's like a turtle. But I can't really tell. This is why, like, folks, like, if you want, like, a good profile picture, you have to make sure it's visible in small. Um, so as I see it now, roughly a turtle, I'm going to give it a six. It's a Leo action figure for the new film. Yeah, that makes sense. When you point it out, I can kind of see it. Again, you're, you guys are on my TV, and so you're, like, you're, like, pushed away. Mutant Mayhem Leo. But yeah, as I see it from here, I'm going to have to give it a six. Pardons, it's kind of cheating with Pardon because I already know Pardon's profile picture, so I know what it is. I know it's like little tiny Pardon, the the cursed Pardon doll. Um, it's the big one, the big Leonardo. Yeah, I mean, I, I would say the colors, it kind of clashes with the white background, so it kind of, to me, from this distance, it kind of mutes. So yeah, that's a six. That's a solid six. Pardon from this distance. I'm going to give him. Um, it's colorful. You, I can. If I didn't know it was him, though, it would be. It would be it, it's probably also a six. That's a six. I changed my username. I love five Fanar. Now you're at Fanar. So if you meant Five Nights at Freddy's, still not. So now it's it, it's like Five Nights at Raphael's. You got to be careful with that R or the F, really. I meant to put the F, not the R. Yeah, it's 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 a pain. You got to be careful. They don't let you change it after, so you got to be very very particular. I make a lot of typos. I know my friend. On the Ninja Turtle Power Hour, the podcast I'm on, um, he, he started a TikTok account, and his name is Keith. And he I can't... 14 nights about racism? Jesus. It's a lot of nights. Um, <laughs> Cody from SML. Um, it's the rate your profile alive. You should have 500 viewers soon. Yeah, Lolo, her profile... Her, I don't know. It kind of looks, I can't tell at this distance. Lolo, though, it's clearly a person. So that profile picture, instantly, you're getting like an 8.0. I hated when Big Nate voice actor, when he sang Team and T theme. Big Nate? Big Nate. He sang the Team and T theme song, 2012. It was complete trash. Uh, Mikey940 has joined. They don't have a profile. Well, no, that doesn't count. When they join, it doesn't show the profile picture. So I can't. I can't rate that. Um, thank you for the follow first steps. Appreciate that. I haven't seen a new profile picture for a bit. We'll rate the next one that comes up. 
But yeah, so far Lolo's winning with an 8. Why is Mikey blue? Ooh, spectacular action. They're going with the Nightcrawler. That one's very um, recognizable, even at a small distance. That's getting a 9, just because it hits. it's what you want to happen in a small profile photo. Why is Mikey blue? It's just the color he is. Um, you know. Mikey is holding his breath. Also true. Turtles are also cold-blooded, so they'd probably be on the bluer side. I love these figures. I just picked up the ones without battle damage. Yeah, they're super solid. Uh, First Steps profile picture. Again, a very recognizable. Really classy. It's like the sepia tone. That's also a 9. Um, Most Sane Student. I think I think that's a turtle tot or some kind of sick baby turtle. Um, Nine point five. I love Fanar movie. Um, also fairly recognizable. I like the blue in the background. There's like two. There's two people or two creatures. So pretty high. That's a that's an eight. Pretty good. So you'll you'll notice a theme, folks. You want a picture that when shrunk down, it's still recognizable. Do you only collect Ninja Turtles? Mainly, um, I've been tempted to other rate. Okay, Leonardo rate mine. Yours? Yeah, I can't tell what it is. Probably some kind of like wording or logo, but it's super small. I can't read it. It looks like three shadowed figures. That's going to be a five. Yeah, that's a five. It is, it is it is what it is, you know. Is three turts. Pardon is back. Should I re-rate his profile picture? I have to deduct points because I already know his profile picture, so it's unfair. So because of that, he can't get higher than a seven. Um, when you shrink it down, it's kind of busy. You can't read you can't read the words on that figure shirt. So yeah, that's a five. That's a five pardon. Mine is the best, let's be honest. Yours is pretty good. Yours is so, so solidly Nightcrawler. I know immediately that it's Nightcrawler. So again, that's pretty high. Um, I think I gave a high rating to the Sick Turtle. I gave a high rating to Most Sane Student because I appreciate that it looks like a, a Sick Turtle. I, I To me, it looks like an old man turtle. I imagine it's a Turtle Tot, probably Mikey. But it looks like a Sick Old Man Turtle. So that gets a 9.5. <laughs> um rate your profile picture is that jesus that's either jesus or selma hayek if it's selma hayek that's a 10 if it's jesus you're getting a two sorry it's (laughs) your profile picture looks like a rotten tater tight i mean look to be fair okay i'll be fair i can recognize it as either selma hayek or jesus so on my scale of ratings, it's got to at least be, what did I say, a 7? Um, so it's a 7.5. 7.2. So I'm deducting points for Jesus. So it's 7.2. Leonardo, that looks like... I want to... Look, it's probably three turtles again. And is it the turtles in the elevator thing? But it also looks like the Gill Man. It looks like the creature from the Black Lagoon. Um... So if it's Creature from the Black Lagoon, it's a solid 8. If it's something else, 6.5. Lolo is back. Yeah, Lolo, that's still... Did I say an 8? Instead of saying Turtles, my sister says Tortoise. 100% different things. That's true. Um, Turtles and Tortoise. I don't know the difference. I can't remember the difference at this hour, but they are different. You should really... I love... Finar movie, you should change your profile picture to Selma Hayek. That would be way cooler. Um, is that bearded Jesus? Or did he shave? Doesn't he usually have a beard? It looks like Pardon changed his profile picture. He's put more emphasis on his his Uncanny Valley action figure. So that's an improvement. You still can't read the Pardon My Nerd on it. So I, I should say he should still go bigger. But he's he's upgraded to... A 7.6. Did you see the post credit from you at Mayhem? I didn't see it. Yes, it's Shredder. Spoilers. (laughs) 
It's pretty cool. Why didn't you see it? It's Shredder with like lightning. In most Saints student, your profile picture does look like a rotten turtle tot. It looks like a rotten turtle tater tot. Rate right my profile picture. It looks like a robot. Um, worse than Jesus. Um, so that's a four. But no Jesus. That's also an upgrade. So maybe that's an eight. I don't know. Um, I had to leave for my job interview. Leonardo's picture. I think it's. it kind of looks like. It kind of looks like Raph with an afro. Which is pretty cool. So if it's Raph with an afro, that's a nine. If it's anything else, four. Do you have Lego turtles? Kind of. I have one like one Lego set. Raffro. Raffro. Yeah, if it's a Raffro, that's a very high um, score. That's the third time he's changed his profile picture. He abandoned Jesus real quick, um, which Jesus would not approve. Well, I mean, Jesus is kind of cool with everything. And I just I just watched the movie Silence, which is about like Jap, which is about like Portuguese priests trying to spread Christianity in Japan. And Japan is like, get that shit out of here. And they kill them all and they kill all the Christians. And so the whole point of the movie is that, you know, don't make people die for no reason because Jesus doesn't want people to die. And so they're like a, a big thing about is like you step on Jesus, his face. And so eventually they all just step on Jesus. Um, I don't know where I was going with that. Um, I, yeah, it was like, you can step on Jesus's face. He'll, he'll be cool with it. That's what I was going with that. Go watch silence. It's a great movie. Better. Um, worse. This is, this is pardon's third attempt. He it's worse now. Um, the second attempt was better. So pardon is getting downgraded to a three because he has not learned any of the lessons. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is trying so hard. Have I given anybody a 10? I don't know if anybody's got a 10. Did you get the Mutant Mayhem Turtles in the costume? Yes, I did. Um, the only one nearby is Leo. I think 9.5 is the highest before I got a 9.5. Yeah, because you did like the old man turtle. So here is, here is the costume turtle I have handy, which is Donatello as Spock. See, look, here's here's the thing, guys. Um, look at my logo. Do you can you guys see my logo on the screen? Not that mine necessarily excels at that because I have too many words. But when you have a logo or a profile picture, you want to be able to tell what it is at a small, a small view of it. Um, Lol, really, kind of looks like a girl. If it's a girl with hair with it, looks like a girl with an eye patch. So if it's a pirate girl. That's a 9.5. If it's anything else, that's a 7. But you're on the right track. Uh, Jared loves Team NT. It looks like best action Leonardo. It looks like Leonardo. I can tell what it is. Um, that's an 8. That's a that's a pretty good 8. Uh, I love Fenar. Right, that's Jesus again. I mean, I guess I know it's Jesus. So I have to... If it's identifiable, I have to give you a good... That's a 7. Leonardo... Looks like a deformed crab. That's a six. He took a screenshot of your live. Really? That's cool. Um, that's weird. If I click your name, does it show me bigger? Oh, yeah. Okay. Should I click some of your pit? Okay, Jesus. Big Jesus fan, huh? I mean, I don't mean to, I don't mean to like dog you for like liking Jesus. I'm just being an ass. Jesus is cool. Um, Mutant Mayhem. That's a cool Leo. Let's look at Sane Students. Oh, yeah, that's definitely a turtle tot with like a suspicious look. Now, rate mine again. Yep, see, that's an actual person. See, look, this is. She nailed it. That's a 10. Because again, you can tell it's a person. Lovely hair. It shrinks down well. That's a, that's a 10 profile picture, folks. If you have words, you need the words to be visible, even as small as you can get it. That's why pardon fails. Pardon? Ooh, who is that beautiful man? Is that me? 
<laughs> that's a that's an 11 if you keep it that way for at least two days um if you don't keep it that way six I think so far Lowell really is the only one who's actually had like a person profile picture right because Jesus isn't real so he doesn't count as an actual person pardon kind of has his own like um what was the what was the figure called that Hasbro did where you make your own like head picture what what do they call those is that me It's interesting. Yeah, Jared. Yeah, that's a solid. How about now? I mean, without clicking on it, I can't tell what it is. So that's a two. If I click on it, you can see it's the Mutant Mayhem figures. Um, but yeah, I have to go. You have to go when it's small, folks. I have to judge them when they're small. And so I can't tell what yours is. Rate my now. It's a friend from school. It still shows as like a, a, a sus turtle top yeah this is i don't think i ever finished my thought on this this is donatello as spock obviously try clicking mine most sane student selfie series yeah most okay most sane student that's an actual picture that's a 10 you can very clearly tell that's a person that's also a 10 pardon he has a very good looking person in his profile picture um, that's a, that's a 12. <laughs> just, just, that's fucking stupid. Um, rate. Yeah, see, yours one, I can't tell what that is now. That's a two. If I click it. It's like rise. Rise instantly. That's a nine. I can't tell what it is though, but knowing that it's rise after clicking, I retroactively upgrade it to a nine. It is. Yeah. Rise. You gotta love Rise, folks. You gotta love Rise. I guess I could put Donnie Spock there. Right? God, talking for two hours. Spock, Donnie. Is that another screenshot from the live? That's actually a good profile picture. Clearly Donnie. That's an 11. But are you are you guys learning what you want in a profile picture? Because Ian, I'm I'm viewing it like if you view it on your phone, you're very close up. But you're like at least I don't know six feet away. Rise of the profile pic. Ooh, Leonardo. It's weird. It it takes some time to like change in the chat. Um, it still shows the old one, so I have to click on it. So you're technically disqualified at the moment because I can't see your new picture. So I, I can't I can't I can't rate it because I have to rate them when they're small and I clicked on it and I know it's big. It's like Leo from Rise. There we go. Instantly. Yeah, instantly recognizable. I can tell it's Leo from Rise. That's a 40. <laughs> um. I love Fanar movie. It looks like so, it. It looks like an owl in a bandana. Um, a five. Can you express Mikey voice from nineteen eighty seven? Um, for I can't, my voice is fucking shredded. I can't hold on. totally tubular i can't like i can't explain like to get like a surfer voice i have to like dig down in my throat and it's not there because it's already hoarse from talking cowabunga turlino is like it <laughs> like it's already like it's already like shredded so like when i try to dig down into like what would normally shred it like there's nothing left oh no <laughs> That's the best I can do. It's really, it's funny. Um, you should definitely keep that as your profile picture. 
for multiple days. <laughs> or look, 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 look. Let me, let me help pardon out. Here, pardon. Screenshot this and make this your profile picture. And we'll see how well it translates into the small circle. Can you guys hear my cat begging to be let out? Poor Boots. Did you do it? Did you do it? Did you do it? Everybody 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 who who copies this and puts this as their profile picture will get an instant 50. You had your chance. I think I lost some of these. Here we go. Folks are joining in. Nope, nobody. So nobody's getting a 50. Nobody's switched. Ooh, see? This is a tricky one. It's, it's the black and white. The black and white does not read well. So I'm torn. I have to give you a 50 because I said so, but I'm also a liar. So I'm going to take that back. And that's a seven. <laughs> um, I like... <laughs> 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 I like you can see me at the top of it. That's a 100 cuz it's that's ridiculous. Um You know, it's tricky though. Like when I was designing quite the jump, um yeah, it's just like if you look at Pardons now, like the fact that he included the bit of my head showing it is hilarious. That's the instant 100 for comedy's sake. But on the visual smallness scale, very hard. Um, but yeah, Jared, technically you get a default 50, but I can't, I also can't read it. Yeah, as I was designing my logo with Colin Stein, that was one of the things we tried to focus on, on making it readable when it's small, which I don't know if even I succeeded. So if I had to rate my own, um, because I just, I have too many words, um, yeah, probably probably like a four. I think the colors are good. Which character from Team and T would you kiss? Probably Karai. Yeah, like two thousand three Karai. Or IDW Karai is also pretty cute. You know. Two thousand twelve Karai, not two thousand twelve Karai. Twenty twenty three April. I mean, also no, but two thousand twelve April, also no. Twenty sixteen April, totally. But you should probably not want to kiss Team and T characters. Nineteen eighty seven April, true. Did it again. Yeah, Jared, that one's a zero. I can't I can't tell what that is. Oh, but if I click on it, again I click on it and it's 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 reusing the the jackass picture, which is hilarious. So that's instantly back to 100 to break my own rules. 2003 April. Yeah, she's pretty cool. I mean, kind of questionable taste in clothes, but she's pretty cool. Rise April, she's cool. Still wouldn't, but she's cool. 
Ooh. Well, folks, I should probably call it a night. My cat's going to murder me. Super fun. I hope you've enjoyed. Um, I hope you all freeze your profile pictures as is and never change them. Um, look, do you guys want to see my cat? Oh, fuck. Look at Boots. She hates this, but I love Boots. Boots is 16. Sorry, sweetie. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, I haven't watched Five Nights at Freddy's, so I, I can't tell. Do you watch Deadpool 2? Sound like People have told me that, actually. Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, I have, I have gotten that before. Um... But yeah, folks, again, thank you so much for joining me this time on this live with Shredder, the Shredder. I've had a ton of fun, super fun. Thanks for joining me this late at night or early in the day. I love you all. It's always super fun to hang out. I'm having trouble moving the foot up and down. Does it articulate on Shredder? Oh, yeah. It's a, it's a normal articulating foot. Yeah, thanks for joining, everybody. Take care. Love you all. Have a great rest of the weekend. The turtles. I mean, the turtles. That's what I don't like about these turtles. There's just there's not a lot of range of movement because they're they're just the the way it's sculpted is shit. So it, it articulates like side to side, but there's just not a ton of up and down because it's just the way it's sculpted. There's just there's too much material there. So you can like you can push it a little bit, but you like it's you can't get it further than that because it's just in the way. Um, right on, Athax. Right on. Thank you. Yeah. Sadly, I'm I'm ending the live now. We just we had a bunch of fun. We we chook we chooked out. We chooked out. That's not even a word. We checked out the IDW Shredder, which is probably my favorite Shredder design. But yeah, super fun, everybody. Love you all. Hope you have the rest, the great weekend, whatever you have left. If it's Monday soon, that sucks. Sorry you missed everything. That's okay. I mean, it is what it is, but thanks for joining now. Sorry I couldn't go longer, but yeah, take care, folks. Be good to yourselves. Go get some cool toys, and I'll see you later. Bye. Let's. One thing I haven't been doing is you, you got to stare into the cold, dead eyes of Shredder. Wait. Bye. Luffy goofy face. That's a good. That's actually a better one. That's a better. Stare into the goofy eyes of Luffy. There we go. Ooh, wait. Hold on. Wait. The focus. God damn it. This camera. God, my stupid face. Bye, guys. Guys, gals, NBs, see ya. <laughs> Bye.